Hi, Aries. It's me, Alex. So guess what? I was giving you a whole fantabulous reading and then discovered my camera wasn't recording. Anyway, I'm Alex. This is your weekly tarot reading. Hold on to your hats, Aries, because this reading is really good. Okay? Let's take it from the top. I feel like you guys met somebody who you're highly attracted to, right? Not only that, but I could see you guys like spending time talking on the phone and being up till two and three or late in the morning talking to this person. You think they're beautiful. They're very attracted to you. It just kind of feels like they're, the chemistry is out of this world, off the chain, through the roof for this person, right? Not only that, but to an extent, this person is making you want to rush towards them and and be with them like I can't say out of the blue but for you Aries you tend to be slower and more meticulous so the fact that you're wanting to kind of impulsively just go for it is a little surprising right you have the star card and the two of, two of cups here this to me kind of says that you guys are both feeling the same about each other in the other video I did kind of point out too it's like look at the cat even the cat is happy cat is like yay I like her <laughs> right um so that kind of says to me that yeah with the two of cups and a star card I feel like both of you guys feel like you're both what each other wanted you're both what each other was manifesting and it's it's like oh my god it's kind of too good to be true which to me is that star card right that twinkle twinkle that you know it's starry eyed it's you know honeymoon phase oh my god everything is just going right like this person finishes my sentences. It's a wish fulfillment about this love, right? With the sun card and then the judgment, it's like, all right, you know what? I'm happy. She's happy. He's happy. Let's do it, right? Be, you're, it's almost like you're being very impulsive, very sponta uh, spontaneous. And based on how you're feeling right now, everything is going good. The sun is out. I'm happy. She's happy. He's happy. Let's, let's finalize this. Let's make this official. And the universe is like, no, okay? The universe is like, whoa, Nelly, Aries. And the reason being is because you have limited information right now. Yeah, to an extent, you could be in a honeymoon phase and it feels real good. But the Hierophant for me is almost like that wealth of knowledge, that very wise person, that very experienced person who's kind of saying, hey, whoa, whoa, <laughs> right? Whoa, Aries. Right now, you have very limited information. The Eight of Swords usually represents kind of being restricted and kind of trapped by your thoughts. And in this particular situation, the entrapment is the limited information that you may have about this person. Here's another thing, a reason to slow you guys down. The Knight of Wands with the Justice card. Be careful also because this could represent speeding tickets as well, right? As in, you're moving too fast. Here comes the law, the universe slowing you down or kind of quote unquote penalizing you because you are going so fast, right? Here again, judgment card. You got judgment and judgment. So it's almost like you're ready to make a decision, Aries. And if you're not ready to make a decision, your person is ready to make a decision, right? It's almost like you guys are both wanting to commit, but the universe is giving you guys, it's almost like you're wanting to commit for different reasons. One of you guys may feel like, okay, I know what I need to know, Alex. With the Ace of Swords, that's truth, that's clarity, that's, you know, intelligence, that's analytical um, information. It's almost like, no, Alex, I'm good. I, I, I know everything I need to know. Aries, I'm shaking my head. You can't see it, but I'm shaking my head. No, not yet, babies. Um, and the other person, again, it's like, I've, all I care about is that I'm happy. Like, you make me happy, we make each other happy, so, yeah, like, this is the happiest I've ever been, been. this is the happiest I ever felt. So, yeah, I mean, you seem like a good person, why not, like, like just do it? Now, by the way, Aries, respect, right? Because I'm not saying to you that you're being unintelligent about this. I'm definitely not saying that. I'm saying that your passion right now is causing you to move a lot quicker than you're used to okay not only that but angels also say well shit if it's good good now and y'all are really meant to be it's gonna be good later right so you can kind of quote unquote slow down Aries is like no <laughs> the 
And the universe is like, no. Okay? So, let's see. You have judgment with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, that's... You're ready to make a decision. You're ready to just jump in with both feet. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the bigger picture. Yeah, the universe is speaking to you right now, Aries. And, and again, the bigger picture here with the Hierophant and the, the Eight of Swords is, listen, like, what's the rush? <laughs> right? Like, what is the rush? If this is your person, whether you get married now or married three years later, it's like, yo, it's still your person, so they're not going nowhere. <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe. Yes. You know something? That just kind of says to me that, yeah, this person is not going anywhere. You see the cancer crab sitting there? Y'all know cancers are emotionally clingy. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer, right? You got the star card and this. Oh, these are beautiful cards, Aries. You could be dealing with a cancer, right? Because two of cups, yeah, and what other cups? Um, do we just have the two of cups on the table? Wow, yes, that's it. A new romantic cycle begins. Card at the bottom, a personal issue reaches resolution. Um, baby, listen, it's it's Aries. It, there is no rush. The signs that you have here are Aquarius, Leo, Aries, and Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, and Aries and Scorpio again. So you do have a lot of fixed energy on the table, especially with Aquarius, right? You also have Scorpio in the Judgment card, right? Because that's Martian energy. And you also have Taurus here, which is a fixed sign as well. So, yeah, this is you guys, the Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, it is in your nature, that hot, fiery nature to just bolt and rush forward and move forward. And I applaud that about you, Aries. But look, looking at, like, the other energy, say, for instance, on this table, is fixed. So, to an extent, you guys, you know, they shouldn't be going anywhere, okay? Let me see what Angel answer said. Look, confirmation. Yes, they're not going anywhere. Sat down, Aries. <laughs> listen to your intuition. Don't just listen to me. Listen to your intuition. A year from now. A year from now, shit, y'all may be married, have like four kids a year from now. <laughs> Meditation brings answers. Yeah. That with the, that with the, um, listen to your intuition kind of says, yes, it feels too good to be true. It, you're so happy. You're so happy you you found this person. I feel like to an extent for a lot of you guys, this person is a lot like you. Um, but the universe is saying, baby, go slow. Please go slow, Aries. I want y'all to be successful. All right, babies, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you, Aries. Bye.